welcome back to a new vlog um i'm back in amsterdam and i am kind of trying to get my life together i'm trying to kind of get back into my routines and giving myself like a little reset for the new year for uni and also just because i'm back from my holiday i haven't unpacked yet because i was prioritizing other things this weekend i saw some of my friends again which was super super nice i missed them so so much and it really gave me like an energy boost um but yeah i'm gonna do my room right now before that i do have to send out a package i really need to do that today because today's the last day i can do it but just to give you guys like a little overview of the situation my room doesn't often get to this state of messiness but that's okay I have my suitcase that still needs to be unpacked, I need to put this in the laundry, like it's, it is bad, but I'm excited to clean all of this and I really want to do it tonight. The sooner I get my room done, the easier it is to be in the right state and like pick up my healthy habits again because I always feel good when my room is clean. But yeah, I'm gonna send out my package right now, go outside, bring that to the post office and then I will come back and update you guys. that i did this because if i wouldn't have done it today i feel like it would have just gotten messier and messier um and it would just overwhelm me so it looks so much better than before um i didn't really do like i didn't clean anything though i didn't clean any surface or like hoovered or anything but i just like cleaned my desk cleaned my bed and then emptied my suitcase but yeah i'm going to bed right now and then i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow Guys, this is not funny anymore. My camera makes me look white. This is not my winter. I don't know which settings I need to fix. It's so annoying. Is this better? Not really. Maybe if I film like this. I really need to figure out the settings of this camera. Honestly, I always film in like the auto setting. Um, but I feel like it could be so much better. Okay, this is a little better, not much, but it's um, the next day. It's Monday today and I'm going to uni um, in a little bit. But before I do, I wanted to show you guys some of the things I picked up yesterday at uh, like this health store. I'm obsessed with it. It's called Holland and Barrett. Like I know that they have it in the UK. I'm not sure about other countries. They have it in Abu Dhabi as well. Besides that, I have no idea where they have it. But if you have a store like this in your city go there like literally my therapy is shopping at the store um but yeah i just thought that i would show you guys 
first thing, it's a really small haul, but I still wanted to show you. First thing I got is this like chlorella spirulina powder because I want to put this in my smoothies or like just drink it with water. I don't know if that's possible too. It's probably going to taste disgusting. Um, but the reason why I bought this is because I actually wanted to get the chlorophyll drops, but I heard that like chlorella contains a lot of chlorophyll and I used to always drink my smoothies with spirulina, but I kind of stopped. I don't know why, um, but I kind of want to get back into it because... Feel like it's just super good for you so i got like a mix of both of them and it's just super easy to throw in smoothies then i also got two oils they had a one plus one deal for this i actually only wanted to get like pure almond oil because i want to focus on like growing up my hair this year and um rosemary oil is really good for that i usually use the meow organics rosemary hair like growth oil but it's been going viral on tiktok when everyone's trying to get their hands on them so i just thought that it's time to switch to something else so i'm gonna use like pure rosemary oil you always have to dilute it with another carrier oil so i got almond oil for that and then the other oil that i got is like this um grapeseed grapeseed oil i think that it's called grapeseed oil in english but i'll put the right name on the screen as always if i'm wrong but i just thought that this would be a nice oil for my skin because I don't really have a good oil right now to use for gua sha so that's why I bought this one. Um, that's that. And then I got these like little mints. My mom already got me like another pack of these a couple of weeks ago. And I love these because first of all, they're sugar-free. And second of all, they're aspartame-free. Here, you can tell. So that's amazing. And I also like them because they contain xylitol. Is that what it's called in English? Oh my god, my vocabulary is so limited sometimes. Um, but that's like really good for your teeth. Um, so yeah, I got these as well. And it's like a really sustainable packaging. And then really random, I got new toothpicks. But I wanted to show you because I love these toothpicks. Like, I used to struggle so much with being consistent when it comes to like flossing. So ever since I switched to these instead of wooden ones, I've been so much more consistent. So really recommend these yeah that was my little haul what's up you guys it is a couple of days later i just came back from the grocery store to restock um all of my like frozen fruits and to get some spinach for my smoothies but i thought that i would just show you guys my grocery staples when it comes to smoothies because i feel like it's so easy to make smoothies when you just always buy your grocery staples you know like smoothies for me are already the number one thing that helped me to stay healthy because they're so easy to throw together they're so yummy and you can like drink them in the morning so you already have like a good start to your day but instead of doing like a regular grocery haul which is usually very random i'm just going to show you guys my smoothie staples so these are my grocery staples um i make different smoothies in the summer and winter time so in the summer i also make like a fresh green juice smoothie which is like with celery um lemon juice apple and cucumber so i don't have that right now i'm going to definitely do an updated summer version but for now these are the staples that just start over here i have some frozen fruits my favorite ones are mango honestly my all-time favorite is blueberries like you guys know how much i love my blueberry smoothies so this is definitely number one and then i like to have mango because they're so nice to add to like a green smoothie and makes it pretty sweet and then lately i've been loving red fruits more so i either like um raspberries or strawberries so frozen fruit is essential as well as bananas obviously i usually like to cut these up and then put them in the freezer so that they're nice and cold and my smoothies can get really thick and then the next really important thing is a milk i like oat milk and i especially like this one from oatly it's their organic version and the reason why i love it so much is because the ingredients are very minimal a lot of oat milks contain so many unnecessary ingredients but this one is just water oats and salt like amazing and it's organic and then spinach this is like the easiest thing to just throw in any smoothie and then you have your greens for the day like i love spinach so much and it doesn't taste like anything and then what i like to add usually are some fibers so i either go with chia seeds or i go with flax seeds or i do both but i definitely love to add some fibers and then for healthy fats what i usually do is add like a tablespoon of a nut butter so i like to use peanut butter a lot i also love almond butter or hazelnut butter right now we have this mixed butter which is i think with almonds and hazelnuts <laughs> this one's really good i've been literally like spooning this because i also love it as a snack and then an apple we don't have a lot of apples right at the moment but i just thought i would lay this out because i also love like adding an apple to my smoothies um 
especially like the combo of spinach apple banana and mango is really good um anyways last but not least a protein powder because i go to the gym so i like to increase my protein intake and i also have talked about this protein powder before i love this one as well because of the clean ingredients this one only has three ingredients as well as you can see it's just like pea protein vanilla and the sweetener so that's why i also really like this one but yeah so those are kind of like the grocery staples for a smoothie I do recommend you guys to make like your own list because these are like the things I like for my smoothies but if you're more of like a yogurt smoothie gal you probably need that um so yeah just thought that I would show you and I'm gonna make one right now This just hits the spot. I remember when I like discovered this smoothie recipe, I was like drinking this every day because this smoothie is like the perfect smoothie in my opinion because it has so many. It looks so crazy. Oh my god, it's I don't know what's wrong with my camera, but somehow it just makes me super white. I need to figure out the settings. I'm sorry, guys, but um. The reason why I love the smoothie so much is because it has so many anti-inflammatory ingredients and it literally tastes like a dessert, you guys. It's so good. <laughs> Let me know if you recreated this recipe. I'm sitting in my bed right now. I'm having like a little self-care afternoon and I'm absolutely loving it. Um, I had a lecture this morning. My lectures this period are super long, like they're four hours long, which is insane, but... Um, you know gotta deal with it i followed mine online today though which was super nice because i can focus so much better when it's online if i'm actually on campus i will look at everybody's screen in front of me and get so distracted by it like literally people will be online shopping and i'll be online shopping with them because i'm so interested in everything except for what the lecturer has to say so that's why i decided to stay home today because i just knew that it would benefit me um but yeah since i already did that this morning and i really like paid attention I'm giving myself off for the afternoon. I might have a like, look at some of the materials tonight. But this period, I also mostly have like morning classes and morning lectures, which I'm so happy about. Like I, sometimes I hate myself for taking morning classes, but to be honest, I feel like it's better because it pushes me to wake up early. But yesterday I came home at 11 and I still had like the entire day ahead of me. So that was super, super nice. And I'm so happy that I signed up for early classes like obviously the first time it's hard but once you get into a routine of sleeping earlier and waking up earlier it's totally fine um but yeah i'm just gonna sip on my smoothie right now i'm actually just like working on my pinterest boards like i just love looking for inspiration because it just motivates me so much and i just love visualizing my dreams and goals and i'm a really good visualizer like without pictures but i also just love to to use pictures as inspiration and motivation that's honestly like such a big self-care activity for me to just like scroll on pinterest and just i don't know enjoy just like enjoy myself for example if you look at this picture how stunning is that you guys if you don't follow me on pinterest yet my name is just life by sila this is my account oh my battery's blinking and my wi-fi sucks in my room it's gonna get fixed in a couple of weeks but it's gonna take some time and i always like it always takes a while to load but yeah this is my account on pinterest and i'm just gonna do this and then i think that i'll also just journal a little and continue reading in this book i love this book i'm currently reading this it's by dr joe dispenza and it's just like incredible i have no words for it
Look, it's raining like crazy, as you can see. Um, I'm on my way to the city right now to meet up with a friend. We're gonna grab some matchas and then oh, we want to get our first. I mean, I want to get my first pair of Lululemons. She already has them and really loves them. So I thought it was time, you know, spoil myself a little. But yeah, it's super rainy, super cold, but it's okay. I'm taking the tram. I wanted to bike, but I would have been so wet if I biked. I'm really happy that I didn't do that.